it's Nicole. How are you? I am wonderful and I'm so excited to be doing this painting today. I'm going to be doing something completely different, something I have not done before. So we'll see how it works. Um, it's inspired by Tara from Pieces of Tara Artistry. Um, if you've never watched any of her videos, please do. She has does beautiful work. She's doing a lot of work with the pearl, um, uh, pearl technique. And um, she does Dutch pours within them also. It's so pretty. Um, but this is inspired by her. It was, it's actually a video I saw. Um, it's a video of hers from about, gosh, what was it I saw earlier? Like five months ago? I think it was one of her very first um, pearl cell technique pours. Um, so I had watched that recently and I don't know, it just gave me some inspiration. I've been wanting to do something. Um, but this one just, I don't know. And it, I think it was, like I said, I think it was her first one. So how fun, how fun is that? So I am going to try that today. Now, we'll see how much luck I have. <laughs> um, but hey, I'm going to try it and see what happens. So I wanna thank everybody who joined, um, not joined, but watched the videos from the recent collaboration I had with the Little Pouring Art Family. Uh, that was just on Saturday, June 12th. So I appreciate everybody um, watching and going to the other channels and other um, people's Facebooks and checking out their posts and pictures and all that fun stuff. Um, there is an upcoming collaboration that I have with uh, Painting Posse Art. It's called the Summer Lovin' Weekend. That's gonna be June 26th and June 27th. I'll insert a little clip at the end for you to watch. Um, please be on the lookout for that. It'll be premieres. So I will post um, all the times and everything in the description box below of an upcoming video. But just wanted to let you know that's gonna be coming up. All right, so to get started, um, I was gonna do a hidden heart word today. Am I still gonna do it? Am I still gonna do it? Yes, let's still do it. Let's still do it. Hopefully, um, I guess this will be a test for me because these paints are super thin. Um, hopefully I have them thin enough. <laughs> so we will see on that. Um, but let's get let's get the heart the, let's get the hidden heart word done. So I have chosen joy. As the hidden heart word for this painting. I hope you have things in your life that brings you joy and I wish you you know all the joy and happiness that your little heart can handle. <laughs> So anyways, that is the word for this painting. Let me show you the paints that I have. So, I hope they're thin enough because I went thin and then when I thought they were thin enough, I went thinner because I know that these have to be really, really thin. So, we will see. Okay, so this color here is actually, it's a satin enamel color by Deco Art and it's moss green. So I do have this in here with some regular white, titanium white from Creative Inspirations. But I also did add because I got concerned. I don't know, um, I don't know. I don't know, will the color, with the, um, the tinted satin enamels work on its own? So I said, well, I'm going to make sure. <laughs> and I added some um, satin enamels in the pure white also. I think this is the one that's the, the, the one that everybody uses. Anyways, and I didn't realize, but I have all Amsterdam colors here. <laughs> so I'm gonna be um, using some Amsterdam titanium white. This is 
Amsterdam's pewter. Amsterdam's greenish blue. And Amsterdam's Haynes Gray. All right, so I'm going to get started. I'll explain a couple things before I get started because I'm going to speed it up a little bit. I'm not gonna talk through the entire thing. So what you'll see me doing is I am going to actually, and I'll do it while we are talking here. Okay, so one of the things that you do with this technique, um, and I've seen a lot of people do it, and I see uh, Tara do it all the time, is um, just painting on um, some white right from, I don't know if that's too much or not enough, I don't know, we'll see, right from the bottle. This, I guess, what it does is it creates a tacky surface, surface for the, whoop, <laughs> careful there, I'm flinging it all over the place, um, because the paints are so thin it creates a tacky surface for them to be able to attach to a little bit. You know, so they, um, they glide better and stick to the sides better. So, we'll just get kind of an even layer of that. Oh boy, guess we didn't need that much. Okay. No, I'm not new to this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the sides here. All right, so I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna finish uh, getting this layer on. What you'll also see me do is I'm gonna create a um, I'm going to put the paints actually in one cup and then pour them on the canvas in a little pattern or design. All right, so we're going to speed this up for you. I'll check back with you at the end of the video. Enjoy!
to fuss with it um, any more than this I don't think maybe just a swipe a little bit more of a swipe here um, you can see things got wonky for me so I don't know maybe I actually have things too thin I really wanted to make sure that I had it thin enough so I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to leave the camera on so we can keep watching. Some things are happening. Um, so I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna let it go. I'm going to see what happens and what my end result is. I'm slowly sinking. guys well I thank you so much for joining me and for hanging out with me for this one um, let me know what you think in the comments below I will try this again because like how cool I think I have too much water in it <laughs> oh, that's okay but anyways thank you so much I appreciate you if you haven't subscribed I would love for you to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell hit that like button throw me a comment below let me know what you think all right guys Till next time, thanks, bye. Okay guys, so my camera cut out, darn it. Uh, anyways, the end of it, you saw me fussing with this area. Um, but yeah, I had to fuss with it. I said I wasn't going to, but I, I had to. Um, so I will try this technique again. Um, I think it just, you know, it takes some perfecting. Um, but I'm happy with what I got now. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks.